It's important to engage with the multilingual students because of the richness of the community. It's just frankly way more interesting to work with students who haven't all had the same background. My name is Margaret Kelly and I'm a senior teaching specialist. The university changes and I've been very flexible in terms of what I'm able to do, but it's always about working with students. Many of the things that have been asked of me as an instructor to help students come from international students who say this reading is really challenging, I'm not sure, I'm spending too much time on it. So I'll write a very talky reading guide. I'm using more natural language. I'm not trying to make my sentences very complicated and multi-clausal, and I'm also then in italics kind of reflecting on it. Oh, this makes me think a lot of the class discussion we had a couple weeks ago where so-and-so was saying this, and, and then we thought of that. Right, so I'm really trying to give them a supportive thing that they can read alongside the challenging article. I try to create my lectures so that it's three PowerPoint slides followed by questions where they turn to each other in their small group and they talk to each other. And so if there's something that a student hasn't understood, that's a time where they ask each other clarification questions. They can call me over and ask clarification questions and they can hear the voices of the people sitting next to them to deepen their understanding of the content that I've just talked. There are three exams in my course and I give the students the full class time to do it, so they get the full hour, 55 minutes. And I always say to them, somebody's gonna stand up at the 35 minute mark. The vast majority of you will leave at the 55 minute mark. And there will be a handful of students who will stay until the full two hours is over. And often those are students who are working not in their first language. I do a lot of skill building around interaction so that people don't feel awkward when they don't know how to pronounce somebody's name or when they have to ask somebody to repeat themselves because they didn't understand something because they haven't grown accustomed to their accent yet. We're always learning how to be learners and so the expectation that we would know it all, let's call that bluff right away and have students learning from each other. In my teaching philosophy page on the departmental website, I say that you can expect from my classes to work hard and to build a community. And those really go hand in hand, in my opinion. Engaging across cultures, across language, across where you're from, all of those things.